Bonjour, bonsoir, dear friends. Welcome to JCB Live Wine Style. Raphael, our fantastic, charming, eloquent chef and I are excited to introduce the Merlot Month. Can you believe this is hashtag Merlot me. Merlot me. Merlot me. Merlot me. Merlot me. So to celebrate oof, the sounds of crystal, of course, is Merlot. And dear friends, we have an incredible recipe today, but I wish to tell you a little bit of history on Merlot. Because Merlot is sensual, is eloquent, and is refined. This is the charming great variety that the French, since 1784, have been making with a lot of talent. We always call it the left bank grape because it's soft and very refined. Something to mention, our Deloach Merlot is from California. The most expensive wine in the world happens to be Petrus. It's a Merlot as well. So let's not misled that Merlot is not a refined, high-profile grapes. Very important to remember that Merlot is suave and speak a language of a bird. Why bird? Merlot in French is that lovely black bird we see in the vineyards. Spell a little differently, AU at the end, and it became the word for that reason of this bird that became the great Varley in the late 18th century. So we're drinking to history, we're drinking to what composes the part of an amazing blend, what we call the Bordeaux blend of Cabernet, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, which plays a big role. And here we're having a full Merlot wine from the wonderful Deloche estate. And this is Brian Maloney, as you know, our fantastic winemaker that produces this great wine. And I'm very excited because today Chef is having an incredible group of recipes that are quite easy to do Birds. and amazing to prepare for you when you know you have guests coming. Yes. So Raphael, Cheers. what are you thinking today? Well, today I was thinking getting get up this morning and it was an amazing, I decided like we should make some uh, cheese puff with a blend cheese, which is this uh, little blend of uh, Comte and uh, Gruyere. Yes, and then I'll put a, a little, little parmesan. A little parmesan there, just to like get the tanginess in the background, you know. Mm. And um, there should be. Uh, I cannot help it. We do two two easy recipes when you got a guest at home. So and you're mixing a French and, and French an Italian. And an Italian. Yeah. Well, it's explosively well said. exciting because. Mm. Yeah. The parmesan is it, elevating the dialogue between, between Gruyere and, and Tinginess, yes. And Comte is 24 months of age, right? It's, yes, 24 months of age. And uh, of course, and uh, I'm using a puff pastry for the recipe also. And I'm using these little cute containers that we have as a, a, a metal container. We're going to put the puff pastry in here. We're going to build What did you put in there already? I, I, it's already been uh, coated with butter and a little bit of flour. So this is going to be when you bake it, it won't get stuck it'll be easy it just yeah. comes right out right so that's that so the second recipe and that's your puff paste that's a puff paste that you made that's been made at the house and uh mm, can i try it? a little piece yeah, you, you know it's very important to try the raw materials dear friends i would be in the kitchen all the time i would be probably 422 pounds which is optional if you like mm. you can just buy on the grocery store puff paste easy to find in any grocery store mm. but in this case i make my own because I mean, I love baking. It's uh, something that I'm very passionate and yeah. love about it. You know. Wow. Uh, so the second one is we're gonna be doing a fig. It's gonna be baked fig with wrapped in prosciutto. We're gonna stuff it with some nice blue cheese. It's gonna be so delicious. So and here delicious. we're lucky. We have a fig tree, which is the oldest in San Lina. So this mm -hmm. is that beautiful black fig, as you will notice, just to show you how gorgeous it is, or deep red fig. There's many different varieties of fig, but in any stores around the United States, you can find wonderful fig. It's the season, it's the and season. it's amazing because the texture is really fantastic. This one is the second batch of the year. The, the our mm. fig produces fig two times a year: late summer, late summer, and right at the, the beginning of the fall. So this one is the second batch, which is yeah. not like quite as 
is sweet and it's quite is of uh, actually frankly like the second batch better yeah because this, this one they're gonna bake we're gonna put a little bit of sugar in there so we bright up the the sweetness and the flavor and balance it out with the blue cheese and all the goodness in there so let's go ahead and do it please you know Charlotte, you want to build one i i you know ah. anything i can do anything dealing with cheese <laughs> so yes this is gonna help me give my hopper today let's, okay, let's, so let's make five you're just gonna put it in you don't have to stretch it out yeah. i'm stretching it in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in, stuck it in, mm. tuck it in right there. I love base drawing so on. And I know Donnell is looking at me with... And this one, is, if you don't have a this container... Saying, what is he doing? These containers at home, put them in a, in a muffin pan. They're still going to bake. It's the same and maybe even better and if it, even easier to come out. So that's that. JC is working, very simple. Is working in that. I'm going to put a little... Know, we're going to do the mix. Oh, the good. mix. So we're going to do about a half a cup Half a cup of heavy cream. Ooh, cream. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, whole cream. Pinch of salt. I mean, pepper and salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. And From Oakville Grocery. Yes. And a teaspoon of uh, nutmeg. Ah, nutmeg. Right? Nutmeg. Yeah. yeah and uh, mm. you're going to do. Uh, I typically love it in my gene fees, but why not? I'll mm -hmm. share. <laughs> Three eggs. And you know, which is funny is to have Donnell in the background because she's laughing at us. Both lovely immigrants <laughs> in the United States. One from Mexico, the other one from France. And they love how we say nutmeg. 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 Nobody can be as perfect as Donnell with her deep blue eyes and Julia with her red hair. But it's okay, ladies. So as you see, it's so simple and easy. What you got to do is just get a good consistency and mix it all in. Mm. See? No man. Not man. See, JC, how does it look? Nice. See, it's nice. Not man. Not man. <laughs> hey, we having fun. It looks oh, nice. Man. That's the texture. Maybe I'm gonna put just a touch more of cream, and then that's it. So we don't want it too liquid. Though. No, 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 no. It'll the pastry. Explode. It'll I'm explode like a volcano when you put them in the. In the I'm gonna do a little more pastry here. What about that? There we go. I think they're a little big for one, no? Maybe mm. we stretch it a little more. Like Those that. are gonna rip. Well, let I'll me do, do a little own. drawing. I'm doing a little a little lace. Look at that. So just tag it in and push it out to the side. See? And dear friends, you know what you could do is like what I'm doing. Is a nice little lace on the side, so it looks very cute. And I got a little nutmeg rubber. I'm gonna put a nice uh, tablespoon, big tablespoon, so you fill it up at least. Okay. All the way to the top? Yes. God, this is fun to do. And so easy. How long is the whole recipe from now to uh, cooking? It's at least 20 minutes. You know, but it's worth it because it's so good, you know. Time before your guests arrive. And I need to tell you, as often as we do just regular cheese as an appetizer when people arrive to your home and you do a beautiful cheese platter, which is nice too, this is more creative, I feel. Look at this. Did you spill sure. my spoon? I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, yeah, I, I saw, saw you. you. I saw you. I'm going to nutmeg punish you. Here we go. This is going to put, wow. put them in a cooking, uh, cooking pan or here we go. sheet pan. I love to help in the kitchen. This is up my alley. This is so simple. Right. This is about the only thing I can really add. So this one, we're going to put them in the, the, you know, put them in the oven. Yeah. Like, uh, to how long and when. So next one. We should jump in, in the fig, right? Well, well let's jump fig. in the fig, but then... So, so we switch the California tier of the loach is amazing with that because it's quite light. It's very vibrant in terms of its color and aroma. It has a little bit of fig aroma, in fact, of all, of all aroma that we're going to be using next. But I would love for us to move into another amazing lines. is okay. the Napa Valley Merlot. So why don't I go and get it? Okay. And, and in gonna... the meantime, you start explaining everybody okay, beautiful. this fabulous I thing. love it. Perfect. So the next one, we're going to do a little C-section. I always call C-section my fake. It's a fake, right? So we do that. She's a little cross right there. One. Two. What about if we do a B-section? Okay. Let's do two. 
Two? Yeah, because C-section is overrated. B. B. Do B. a B like Boisset. B. Boisset. Or an R-section. R-section. Let's do an R-section like Raymond. Oh. Julia go. is opening the bottle, so it's going to taste a lot more, a lot better. She has velvet gloves. Velvet gloves. Because this is all about velvet. Look at this. I'm coming close and close and close. Can you touch the label with your eyes? Can you feel the texture? Can you... Uh, on my tongue. <laughs> it's so soft, Rafael. So soft. You love it? Oh, I, I'm elatingly excited. So this one next, I'm going to wrap it up in a prosciutto de parma. Is that, is that a recipe for lazy people? It's for lazy people, yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna do it, put a little toothpick over it. And I'm sure you've done it with asparagus as well. Yes. Which is another great wine, you know, prosciutto di Parma or San Daniele ham, you know, which uh, you wait till it's fairly evolved. As you can see, you know, you don't want it very young. You want it quite aged. Yeah, that's what this color. Very important, this color, so it bakes very well. Mm. That's a good flavor. Very nice flavor. Very nice flavor, yeah. It's been, uh, usually when I buy prosciutto, I like to let it age a little longer. Yeah. Take it out of the plastic wrap and let it age at least for another two weeks. That's right. In the fridge, let it air out and it'll get... And it maybe as well a kitchen more. cloth and you put it on mm -hmm. your kitchen counter yeah. and you let it sweat. And this is always what the ham, great ham producers of Italy, Spain or south of France tell you. Let it sweat in their cloth so the ham gives out some of the fats and it becomes a lot more tender. And that's the post-aging process within your own house. And that's the concept of terroir when you think about it. Terroir meaning aging within your home. Yep. When it was in Italy, in this case, in northern Italy, this one comes actually from the Frioli region and the Dolomite region, the best area for this uh, phenomenal prosciutto because this is actually aged San Daniele. So mm -hmm. San Daniele is 24 months of age. And in this beautiful warehouse where it's aged with my friend Marco Fantinel, who makes this ham, he has little slice of openness so the wind come and caress the legs aging. It's almost a burlesque show as you come in to see the warehouse. You have all those legs hanging upside down, not as sexy as a human being legs, but uh, very sexy nevertheless. And you see the wind caressing and really helping to age this process. And you know the wind comes through the Dolomite famous and historical, you know, mountain. So it's the perfect environment for humidity and everything else, which gives this ham this level of texture. So don't just rush to the store and say, I'm going to buy this pack because it says prosciutto di Parma o San Daniele. That's Make an effort quality. to source it correctly. Don't you think? Yes, I agree with you. Totally. By the way, little... Salud! Amor. E. Pesetas. No, no pesetas. Mm. Cocina. Yo, she's perfect with this. Yes, so show so, everyone. I'm going to show everybody shoot it is. how simple and easy it is. Just wrap it up, put a couple of toothpicks to the size so the prosciutto will hold. And then you're going to cut across and stuff it with a nice blue cheese in it. And you're gonna bake it for at least 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Should be simple. I have some already baked. Well, so, so dear friends, one more thing, the wine. So we didn't tell you it's Napa Valley. It's coming from our state. It's this amazing place that we see right there. Oh yeah. You see, we're in the kitchen at Raymond Vineyards, which is where Rafael manages all his kitchen from Buena Vista to the Lodge to other places as well as JCB, and this is this vineyard right there. So this is one of the Merlot that tastes even like a cab in some instances. It's rich, it's plummy, it's figgy, so it's opportune that we have beautiful fig today. And it's one of the wines that I believe is one of the most sexy, seductive, and burlesque Merlot of all the Merlot you produce. And this is no accident that it's made by the wonderful Stephanie Putnam, mm -hmm. who puts her heart, her love, and a fantastic personality into it. So this is a must-have. We call it the tuxedo label because your dress code is not red like the Cabernet, it's black. 
So this is kind of Delicious. the wine you really want to have. And what I love, I receive a lot of people from Asia as well as Europe. It's really in between a powerful cab and a red blend. So Merlot is kind of the United Nations wine. It's the wine that brings everybody together. Everybody likes it. There's no accident why Merlot is so successful because this is gentle and this goes very well with a great food that any chef would prepare. Ours is the best, of course. Oh, oh let me see, there's a little thing here. Oh, maybe we should put it in the thing. Oh, it's gonna taste even better. <laughs> so this is gonna cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes, depends the crispiness of the prosciutto and bake. So if this gets nice and soft, and the more the bake, the better it's gonna taste. It's all that sugar. So slow cooking. Okay. Slow. No, you're gonna keep it at three seven at three seventy five. Yeah. If you don't have a conventional for oven, twenty minutes, for at least twenty minutes. Yeah. So yeah. this is gonna go the hour. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, the miracle of life! Make. Chef came prepared. And the cheese pass the same. They're gonna go for at least twenty minutes. For at least 20 minutes at 370, at uh, 360. This is where the temperature drops down a little bit because you want the dough to cook all the way through. All the way through, yeah. Yes. So this is gonna go in the oven. God, don't they look good. Ooh, it's a little warm. I'm gonna use my gentle hand. I don't wanna burn them because they have to touch a lot of things, of course. Look at how gorgeous. I know you don't wanna do this. I know I'm making all of you jealous right now. So this is a place that a nice uh, Bernardo place, of course. Those are beautiful. And the garden is a, might play a little bit. And you see, we're evolving in the garden. So everything, yeah. Chef now is using different leaves that we didn't have a few months ago during the no, hot no. season of the summer. This is the amazing. This is my favorite. So what are those lovely leaves? This is what they are. What do they call this one? This, uh, I'm using some Carrots? basil, pape, purple basil, and yeah. uh, succulents. Ooh, dear friends, look at this. Ooh la la, bon appétit. Well, they came right off. Mm. Ooh, look at this one. Mm. JC, look at that. See, that would be perfect for somebody when you are guests in the house. I was such a bad boy. Gorgeous. I would be punished. We better cut that segment for the rest of the world. Right? Are you behaving? I found no, are you but behaving? I'm gonna feed you. Mm. Like a little baby. Like a little child. Mm. 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 Those are good, mm. The puff history. The puff history, that's what I was gonna say. Fantastic. Oh my God. And I think which is very exciting, I'm very sensitive to you know, the balance of the cheese. When we did the Gougère and we gave you the recipe, it's a great balance of Emmental, Gruyère, and Comté. Here, the idea of chef to add, I believe Parmesan is brilliant. It is the... Yeah. Thing in the back of my It's a Franco-Italian recipe. I love that. Yeah. So what do you think? Well, I think it's gorgeous. I'm sure to the camera. I think it's beautiful. And I really believe it's easy to do. They're very easy and simple. And that's what we all look for is simplicity, easiness of execution, and your guests really see you making an effort, not just buying, you know, packaged goods from the store. It's nice to do occasionally if you don't have time, but I really recommend, look, 20 minutes later, you're done, and you're receiving your guests with love, with passion, and please Merlot them, because we Merlot each other, Merlot me. We feed each other. And here we are. <laughs> Dear friends, enjoy your cooking, enjoy Merlot, and have a great Merlot month. Thank you.